The ball back to Lankabell who shoots the three. It's going to go off the back iron. No good. Southwood with the rebound, and they're coming back fast up the court. Here comes Peyton Tressler. He lays it up off the glass, and good. Southwood with an early 2 nothing lead. Southwood starts in a zone, a 1-1-3. They're taking away the ball, and then the high post. You look at the team's first two possessions. Morristown has a contested three and then a turnover. Southwood has two breakaway layups. One made, one with a foul. Trexler misses the second free throw. Now back up the court goes Strevel. He's going to lay it up off the glass, and it is good. Morristown finally on the board. If you're Coach Burris for Southwood, you don't love a lane drive off a of one pass without any ball reversals against your zone. Trexler now through the lane, up off the glass, and good. It's been the Peyton Trexler show so far for the Southwood Knights. Great defense and limiting Morristown to just one shot. Yeah, and it's harder to rebound out of a zone, but they're able to. Here comes Matthew Nose up off the glass and good. Southwood really has come alive early in this basketball game. And again, the hot start we mentioned, that's exactly what they needed. 7-2 Southwood here with 5.50 to go in quarter number one. Here from three-point range, it is Logan Laster, and he nails it. That's the best look Morristown has gotten today, and they needed that one. They really do, because from beyond the arc, they're going to have to get things going. As Blair takes a long three, it's going to be no good. It's clear Southwood's trying to get as many shots up in this game as they can. Pass down low is to Trevin Carlton, and just like that, Morristown has tied this game up at seven. And here goes Trexler up off the glass, and it is good. Peyton Trexler has really taken control early on. We talked about the ability of both these teams to score the ball. Both are looking to attack immediately on offense. Here is Lank Cable with the basketball. He's going to kick it out to Strebel. Strebel nails the three, and it is now a 10-9 Morristown lead. This is about as fast paced as we could ask for for a 1A state championship Carson game. Blair takes a shot from the key, and he nails it. And it is an 11-10 Southwood lead over Morristown. A game that started out all Southwood has been tit for tat in the last few minutes. Three-point advantage. Here comes Logan Laster, the team leader in assists. Averages about five per game. He's the facilitator on offense. Nearly loses the basketball. Now drives floater off the back rim. No good. Rebound by Trevon Carlton, and he nails it and breaks this lead for Southwood down to one. Southwood's got to be able to rebound the basketball. They had plenty of opportunities where they could have pushed the ball, but you got to rebound. 13 to 12, 340 to go in a fast-paced quarter number one. We're going to get a blocking foul on Hayden Lane Cable as trying to drive it in was Ethan Roberts, and it's going to be a foul on Lane Cable. Here we are over four minutes into the game, 337 left in the first quarter. That was only our second whistle. We had the one foul on this end by Southwood, and that's our second whistle of the game. This has been fast-paced. If anybody's worried about shot clock and high school basketball, we don't need it here. 3.37 to go in this first quarter. It is Southwood 13-12 over Morristown. We're back with more of the 1A State Final. We return on IndianaSRN.org. 